Hey guys, it's from Bimo here with another video. Um, so yeah, right now you can see I am in a application called MC Edit, and uh, basically this is like um, a 3D map editor you can use for Minecraft. Um, it lets you like edit things, create things, and also has a couple of cool things you can do. Um, you can move your player. So let's say if I was over there in that treehouse, I could click, and next time I open the game, I would appear there also move your spawn point so if you die I could spawn there let's say um, but in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to import and export schematics uh, a dot schematics file basically it's like a, a chunk of blocks like this whole castle let's say this whole castle could be a dot schematics file and then I would be able to import it into any map I want so I can have it on all my worlds without actually having to rebuild it um, so first thing you want to do is a uh, down here you can see there is a import button so you go in here and locate your schematics file um, the default uh, folder for schematics it's in your documents folder in a subfolder called MC edit schematics as you can see here um, so it comes with a couple of default ones like uh, you have your mobs in jars these are actually just like uh, all the different types of monsters inside a glass jar so they can't do anything uh, glass canals for water slides. Um, you have chests. Each of these will actually be a chest uh, in the game and it will have lots of things. Like the builders will have all the different types of blocks. This one was full of TNT, all the different kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, so for all the other schematics, uh, once you find it, like all the downloads I gave you, they'll be in schematics files. Uh, let's just say I want a giant toilet. I like toilets. Okay, so you see I clicked import and now I can see this uh, giant toilet and I can move it around with my mouse. Um, so you can see in the left side you press E to rotate it. R is to roll it over. And then F is flip. Oh, that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, and then also there is a check button for copy air and copy water. Um, if you don't copy air, if there's any blocks that would be within the space already, um, they would still be there. If you click copy air, the whole area around it will be cleared because it will copy all the air around it and the same thing for water. Um, so if you click your mouse once, it will stay there, then your mouse will be free. You can come over here and click the nudge button, hold it down, then use the keys and you will be able to move it like this using W, A, S, and D. Um, now to change the height of it, use Q to go up, and Z goes down. So once you're happy, you can click import. I actually don't want to import it. Um, so yeah. Now if you want to export a schematic, you want to click your select tool, the first one, and uh, use this to highlight what you want to uh, save as a schematic. Um, so let's just say I want this mushroom. You click here, and then the second point will be where I want it to end. So, if I put it there, it's not perfect, I know. So then you can click nudge, and you see the yellow one, it will move the yellow box. And the blue one will move the blue box. Um, there, so I'm highlighting up. Oh, no, one more. And you can see over here, you have your delete blocks, delete entities, and export schematic. So you click export, name it what you want to, and it will save it into the default schematics folder. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Goodbye.